Engineers are working around and against the clock on the Aerodrome Road Rail and Road Project. It'll create a new integrated transport system and will unlock an even brighter future for one of the capital's most successful suburbs. This is all in sharp contrast to most people's perceptions of the London Borough of Barnet. It has always been seen as a model suburb, an easy commute from the city, an attractive and popular place with a strong sense of community. The Renaissance of London demands suburbs that will support and sustain a world-class city. Barnet will play its part by meeting an ambitious target to accommodate an increase in its population of nearly 30,000 by 2016. Significant investment. New services and infrastructure will be needed to create 33,000 new homes and 22,000 new jobs. Many in massive new projects to create two new town centres at Cricklewood and Collindale. The regeneration of Brent Cross, Cricklewood and West Hendon is a massive £4.5 billion scheme, the largest in London. The vision is to create a new gateway to the capital and a vibrant new urban area in Barnet. The regeneration of these areas is the borough's flagship undertaking. Collindale also offers many opportunities to make radical improvements. A creative partnership is transforming a whole district. St George are now redeveloping the historic aerodrome as an exciting new destination in Barnet. And at the heart of the regeneration, the council's biggest post-war housing estate, Graham Park, is to be largely demolished and replaced with 3,000 new homes as part of a huge 500 million pound scheme the first tenants have already moved into a demonstration phase of rented homes here in Ruby Way 32 families have happily settled in including some who've exchanged overcrowded two-bed flats for spacious three and four bed houses with gardens the homes are the first to be built for Barnet Council's development partner choices for Graham Park part of the Genesis housing group a thousand affordable homes are being provided, including over 800 to rehouse secure council tenants. The old Graham Park is being replaced by homes of high quality, some of them overlooking attractively landscaped areas around a lake. And the master plan which will bring all this about has already been recognized with a top honor. It's won the London Planning Award for the best conceptual scheme contributing to London's future. Barnet Council has provided infrastructure and improvements, not least for the new bridges at Aerodrome Road. The aim? To end costly congestion under the low, narrow structures and open the way for buses to reach the regeneration sites. So, both fast and slow Midland mainline tracks have been ripped up, old brick arches demolished and replaced with modern bridges, and the roadway beneath is being lowered. The bulk of the 12 million pound gateway bridge operation took two winter weekends to complete. The work was completed on budget and ahead of schedule to ensure busy weekday commuter routes kept running. The award-winning developers St George are working in close partnership with Barnard Council to deliver high quality one, two and three bedroom apartments and penthouses at Beaufort Park combined with a range of neighborhood facilities which include a convenience store, shops, bars and restaurants and new landscaped parkland. St George are offering high quality affordable housing within financial reach of Barnet's missing generation. And in collaboration with English partnerships they've successfully launched the government's first time buyer initiative designed to bring forward new homes for qualifying first-time buyers and key workers in addition to affordable housing. For the future, Fairview New Homes are to develop the former Collindale Hospital and Brent Works sites as part of an action plan to create a new heart for Collindale. Fairview have successfully regenerated over 200 brownfield sites like the hospital to create exceptional living environments. With their successful track record and working closely with Barnard Council, Fairview are currently evolving their exciting proposals for the hospital site. They include high-quality new homes, the relocation of Barnard College from Graham Parkway, 
a hotel, healthcare facilities, shops and cafes. There will be a new piazza for Collindale Station, which, with the hotel as a landmark building, will create a new gateway to Collindale. The relocation of Barnet College will free up their existing site for a new primary school. Fairview will help create a sustainable environment with improved access to public transport. The aim is to transform Collindale into one of Barnet's successful suburbs. In Cricklewood, environmental sustainability, coupled with social and economic regeneration, will be central to the success of this ambitious scheme. The area will benefit from the greatest investment in transport and community infrastructure in its history. Transport improvements will include a new Thameslink railway station, a larger bus station, a new fast bus connecting the railway station and the underground, an improved road network and new pedestrian and cycle routes. A new office quarter will be created, helping to bring more than 20,000 new jobs. The River Brent will be improved and public spaces will be transformed with four new public squares, great new parks and a complete reprofiling of Clitterhouse playing fields with new sports, play and changing facilities. The whole scheme will incorporate a pioneering system of automated waste collection, vacuuming rubbish directly into a state-of-the-art new waste processing and recycling centre which itself will provide a renewable fuel to help power the development. Site work could start in late 2009 or 2010 and the project will have huge implications for the borough. Effectively we're going to be creating a new town. Uh, Brinkross Shopping Centre is going to double in size. We're going to be building over time around about uh, 8,000 new homes. Uh, an enormous uh, amount of uh, new employment opportunities, new offices, major new transport links including uh, a new station. So it's a very, very complex scheme and one that uh, uniquely for London for this uh, scale of regeneration is financed 100% by private finance. Congested road routes and railways cut off large parts of this 250-acre area from each other. Large retail units stand among a jumble of vacant land, industry and housing. It's poorly planned. But now, two years of consultation and many years of detailed planning have produced an agenda for change. There is a firm planning policy for redevelopment. A high street of character will link the new railway station to Brent Cross Shopping Centre and the bus station through a series of public squares. Attractive residential streets will cater for everyone from families with children to young couples, single individuals and older people in a mix of for sale and affordable housing, including homes for key workers and the elderly. New schools, jobs and community facilities will help make Brent Cross Cricklewood a great place to live. The town centre will see thousands of permanent jobs created, first in shops and leisure and later in a new commercial district. A thriving shopping destination will build on the success of Brent Cross, transforming the shopping centre, doubling its capacity and providing a retail heart to the new town centre. A high-quality, pedestrian-friendly environment will feature a wider range of shops and new leisure and dining facilities. It will be easy to get to and easy to get around, with new bridges and junctions off the A41 and A5, a mainline rail link to King's Cross and beyond, and a new bus station next to Brent Cross. It's change on a vast scale. Regeneration for Barnet is absolutely crucial. Um, part of our uh, strategy is not only for the rebuilding of our estates and regeneration is a key element of that, but we also recognise as one of the leading suburbs of London. If we are to remain successful, we need to ensure that we provide quality homes for aspirational Britain and regeneration schemes deliver both new homes for new people as well as new homes for our existing tenants and some of our estates. So it's a mixture of delivering growth and success as well as providing decent homes for our existing tenants. The building work now underway at Beaufort Park and Graham Park is just the first step in stitching together the fabric of the new Collindale Centre. In 15 to 20 years, the new homes, 
schools, health and community facilities will transform the area into a more attractive place to live, work and visit. Currently, Collindale is one of the most deprived parts of Barnet, but the council and its partners are planning a new and sustainable borough around its new centre. A robust planning framework will guide and control development. So, two new towns which Barnet Council is determined will become highly successful neighbourhoods fit for a world-class city. The people of Barnet can't wait. I live in East Barnet, so I'm sort of near a south gate, but I think it's great, it's lovely. You're 11 miles from the middle of London and you walk down the road, you're in the countryside, the country. just across the road. Uh, well, I've lived in Barnet all my life. I actually went to school in the London borough of Barnet. I think the, the council demonstrates that it really tries hard for the residents. I think one of the best things is the easy access to the M25 and to open space, actually. Sort of, you know, you can walk to um, Hadley and walk through the woods and you think you're out in the country. Three strands one policy to protect, enhance and grow. Protecting the green lungs of North London provided by the green belt and open spaces. Enhancing the classic suburbs, conservation areas and town centres. And growth as new communities are formed in areas undergoing regeneration and strategic development. It's a clearly thought out council strategy for guiding the planning, regeneration and development of Barnet a successful suburb that's building a better future.